Hello, it's Monday the 3rd of May and for breakfast this morning I've got boiled egg and toast and a coffee, 245 calories for the breakfast. The toasty bread is 119 calories, the boiled egg is 66 and the butter, which is 8 grams, is 60 calories. Anti-duties for an hour for little Alby and he was an absolute gem. Just look at how gorgeous he is. Things to do at the other house today, so my dinner is very early, 437 calories, the rice 100 grams is 117 calories, frankfurters times 2 is 186 calories and 2 medium fried eggs which are 134 calories. Jeff's not a white van man, yes he is a white van man, aren't you? So on this lovely bank holiday morning where yesterday I said that I would love to go to the beach, it's absolutely awful weather, so instead of going to the beach and having a lovely day and a lovely walk, we're going to the house to do work. Um, yeah, and then I'm back in work tomorrow on Wednesday, so then after that maybe we can go to the beach, I don't know, maybe we'll even go to the beach later, do you fancy that? might be nice later. If it stays dry, we can go to the beach, can't we? No. I think that would be lovely. See Jess up for it. Um, yeah, so we've decided that we're going to go there now to get some more bits done before, well, is there going to be work starting this week? Maybe? Yeah. Might be. We were going to do the stabilising of the outside and the painting and filling, but with the weather being bad, there's no point. So we will go inside and find there's plenty of jobs to be done. So Jeff has got to get the tools I need because it looks like the job I'm going to be doing today is getting all the tiles off the wall. And we all know how much I enjoyed hacking away at that wall the other day, so this is going to be loads of fun. But I will say the only thing I am a little bit sad about is the fact that I cleaned up all of that the other day and now I'm going to mess it all up again and then I have to clean it all up again. <laughs> I get an actual tool, a power tool. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Feeling like
layers of tiles and the tile wall with a few holes is clear. There we are, so it's all done and the floor is clear again. Last one to go downstairs. Okay, so just back from Home Bargains and this is what I picked up. I will try and give you the calories and the prices as I go along, if I remember. So I've got three bleach, which are three for a pound. I've got the Leno Unstoppables and these are 2 99 the Spring Awakening and these ones are Dreams and they were 3 99 slightly bigger pack. I've got some Febreze, that was 4 49 for a pack of two and that's the Leno ones as well. I like the Leno, you might be able to tell. I've got granola very berry. They were 169, and calorie wise, it is 398 for 100 grams. So obviously, I wouldn't have 100 grams. I probably have 40, and would have to work out what it is. Got some chocolatey squares for the. Well, I was going to say the girls, but I'm sure Jack will eat them as well. And I won't be having these, but calorie wise, they are. So for like 30 grams is 189 calories. I've got some grease proof paper. I can't even say that grease proof paper. I've got Skinny Dreams and they are 70 calories. They're the Rocky Road ones. Skinny Crunch, I think these are 73. Yep, 73. And the orange ones are 74. Now, I haven't been able to find these for ages. They still haven't got the chocolate toffee ones or whatever they are. They are. I've got... Oh, I didn't tell you the prices, did I? So these are... Are they 99p or are they a pound? Oh, the... Okay, go back. And so they, these you ooh. said that they were 74 but didn't they say 75 no What's the 75? less than 75 oh, sorry, okay thanks so these are 149 and the skinny crunch are 99 pence so 99 99 149 i've got some bliss crispy delight bars and they are calorie wise 94 calories and they're also 149 I've got two lots of tuck biscuits. I got the bacon and the cheese. Calorie wise, let's have a look. Oh, that's not really good. Oh, yes, that's okay. 25 grams is 127 of the bacon and 126 for 25 grams of the cheese. And they were both 49 pence each. I've got the Oaties, which are whole grain oat flapjacks, salted caramel flavour. So less than 99 calories. Let's have a look what they are. Per bar, 92 calories. So that is not bad at all. I think they were 99 pence. Let's have a look. Yeah, 99 pence. I've got the Fibre One birthday cake squares. They are 125. And calorie-wise, 84 calories per... What are they? Slab? No, not a slab. Oh. Per square. There we are, per bar. I've got Hobnobs, McVitie Hobnobs snack bar. I haven't had these before, but they look really nice. And I like the, the biscuits. Milk chocolate and golden syrup. And 128 calories for each bar. And I think they were, let's have a look. So they were 99 pence. I've got the Crave Sticks. They were 149. And I've seen these in loads of other videos. I don't really know whether I like them, but I think the kids will. So per bar, they are 98 calories. So not bad on calories either. And then I've said those. I've got the Tato's. Cheese and onion snacks. Does it say on the front? No. They are 134 calories per bag. They were 99 pence. I've got the... Now I've already eaten these, as you can see. Chili heat flavour loaded fries. I've seen these on lots of people's channels as well. 89 calories for one bag, so really low calorie wise. And I think they were 99 pence. So they were 99 pence, and then the cheese and bacon, which are 89 calories as well, and they were 99 pence. So I think the only thing I didn't give you the price was, was the greaseproof grease paper, and that is 79 pence. So that is what I've picked up in Home Bargains today. Some, sorry about my family. <laughs> but this is life, and I've got some new snacks to try as well, so I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Oh, and this is Jack's brand new, brand new handheld Hoover. I mean, what nineteen-year-old doesn't want a shark Hoover, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, look, it's really good. Are you having fun there, babe? Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to try one of these salted caramel flapjacks, which are were they ninety, which are ninety-two calories. 
Tea tonight is 469 calories. I've got half a serving of the TikTok pasta for 123, asparagus 26, courgette 24, barbecue pork which is 284 calories for 114 grams and 12 calories for half of an onion. For snack tonight I've got a whisper which is 166 calories and a coffee using some of the semi skim milk from my little allowance. So I'm ending today on 1,615 calories of my 1,625 calorie allowance and I've got 10 calories left. I am a little bit higher with, I think it was fat and maybe salt today, I'm not sure, but I don't generally go over that anyway and I have had more snacky things than I would normally have and that's only because I went to Home Bargains and on the way back in the car I had some crisps. Then I fancied the flapjack and wanted to try that. So, but you know what? I'm ending within my calories, so that's fine. I've eaten plenty of fruit and veg. I've had lovely food today, really enjoyed it. It's been a busy day. I feel like I've crammed loads in, as you probably will have already seen. But back in work tomorrow and didn't get to the beach. The weather is still absolutely awful outside. It looks like a winter's day, in fact. It's absolutely thrown it down with rain. The wind is really windy. <laughs> the wind is really windy. I know what I mean. But yeah, so ending today with 10 calories left. Not going to have anything else tonight. Um, I give myself what I, and I don't know whether I explained it before. I give myself the allowance of 250 mils of milk. And obviously if I have cereal, then I give myself an extra one. But it's 125, which is the one. So 125 is enough for cereals and things and 250 is more than enough it's what i always used to have on slimming world so i'm so used to having that that i think i just allow myself that every day and i've got that there should i need to use i think it's 116 calories for all of it which is not bad at all so when i say using the milk for my allowance it's an allowance that i i've given myself basically um just to keep me within my calories otherwise if i forget to put it in I just do it every day now. If I forget to put it in, then I end up potentially going over, so I don't want to do that. So yeah, I just give myself a little allowance, and I know I've got enough there for me then. So back in work tomorrow, like I said, and then more work again to do on Thursday and Friday. But it's been a good day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. You're welcome.